The Penitent by Edna St. Vincent Millay, 1892-1950 I had a little sorrow, born of a little sin. I found a room all damp with gloom, and shut us all within. And little sorrow weep, said I, and little sin, pray God to die, and I upon the floor will lie, and think how bad I've been. Alas for pious planning, it mattered not a whit. As far as gloom went in that room, the lamp might have been lit. My little sorrow would not weep, my little sin would go to sleep. To save my soul I could not keep my graceless mind on it. So up I got in anger, and took a book I had, and put a ribbon on my hair to please a passing lad. And one thing there's no getting by, I've been a wicked girl, said I, but if I can't be sorry, why, I might as well be glad. Okay, so Edna St. Vincent Millay is an American authoress. Um, this is a really nice poem, I really like it. Effectively, it's the story of somebody who's committed a sin, who's done something wrong, yeah, and uh, everybody's told her that she's done something bad and she ought to think about it and not doing it, do it again. But there's one problem. She doesn't feel guilty. She doesn't feel bad about what she's done, yeah, and she tries to shut herself away in, in the room, in a room, in a dark room and think about this sin and be penitent and sorrowful for it. But she just doesn't feel like that. She doesn't think what she's done is wrong. Um, and eventually she says, well, society says that uh, I've done something wrong, but I don't feel guilty about this, so I'm going to be happy about this. And what this poem is saying between the lines is don't base your life on what society says you should or shouldn't do. Live your life how you think you should live it. Yeah? If society says something is wrong but you don't think this is wrong, then do it. Yeah? Live your life in the way that you want to live it. Don't be uh, bullied by society and other people into doing or feeling what they say you should feel. And I think this also is then talking about um, the emancipation of women and w it's saying that women should not take on the roles that society dictates as uh, a mother and looking after the house. A woman should take on the role she wants to take on. She should do what she thinks is right. And if society criticises her, well, that's too bad for society because this is not something she believes in. So, I had a little sorrow, born of a little sin. So, I was sad because I'd done something wrong. I found a room all damp with gloom and shut us all within. I like this rhyme with room and doom, yeah, and then notice sin within. It's got various, it's got, got rhymes at the ends of lines, an internal rhyme as well. So she found uh, a damp and dark room and went into this room with her sorrow and her sin to think about what she'd done wrong. And little sorrow weep, said I, and little sin pray God to die. So, she says, be sad, be unhappy, yeah, little sin, think about this sin, mm, pray God that you're not going to commit this sin anymore, pray that this sin disappears from you, and I will lie on the floor, yeah, I'm going to lie on the floor, and think how bad, how naughty I have been. 
Alas for pious planning, it na mattered not a whit. So this is what I'd planned to do, but alas, sadly, so reli religious, do pious, to be a good person. So too bad for um, planning to be uh, a good person, according to society. It mattered not a whit, not the smallest amount. As far as gloom went in that room, the, the lamp might have been lit. So I didn't feel gloomy. I didn't feel sad about what I'd done. Yeah, and here this is a, a metaphor. The, the room is actually bright and shining. It's not depressed and sad. Yeah, so she's happy about what she's done. She doesn't think it's wrong. My little sorrow would not weep, my little sin would go to sleep. So I couldn't feel sad about what I'd done. I would just, f uh, I just forgot about my little sin, yeah? It just went to sleep. It wasn't something that worried me. I didn't have this voice of conscience saying, <coughs> To save my soul, I could not keep my graceless mind on it. So, to save my soul, I couldn't do it to save my life, I couldn't do it to save my soul. So, I tried as hard as I could, but I couldn't keep thinking about it. Yeah, may, she describes herself as graceless, but this is according to society. Yeah, that society would call her graceless for not seeing this as bad. But she can't think it's bad because she doesn't feel it's bad. So I got up in anger. So here she's angry about society telling her what she should and should not feel because she knows what she really feels and what she doesn't feel and took a book I had. So she's happy. She takes a book and put a ribbon on my hair to please a passing lad. So she made herself look beautiful. She put a ribbon in her hair. Yeah, and... Uh, she went and she's trying to uh, please the boys. Maybe she'll pick up a boyfriend. And one thing there's no getting by. So one thing that I can't avoid, yeah? I've been a wicked girl, said I. So society says I've been wicked, I've been naughty, I've been bad. And I can't get around that. But I don't feel it. Yeah? So it's clear that society says what I've done is bad. But if I can't be sorry, but I don't repent, I don't feel bad about it, why? I might as well be glad. So better I be happy about it. So here she's saying, be yourself. Don't let society tell you what to do. Do what you think is right and don't do what you think is wrong. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Penitent by Edna St. Vincent Millay